Hey guys, it's Tom Bucks. I'm here with Tristan. Again. Hello. It was like two weeks ago that you were here. Yeah. So, how did you do at today's Seattle Regional? I snuck in and got eighth place at the Seattle Regional today. Snuck in. What do you mean by that? I went X2. <laughs> oh. Hey, a top to top. Still made it. That means you have way better tiebreakers than anyone else. Yes, sir. Okay. So, what did you play today? <laughs> uh, I played Sky Striker. I'll continue and it. It's actually funny though because I came in and didn't want to write my deck list. And so, Manav just said, Here, here's my list, here's all my cards play it and I was like all right I didn't even double check the list I didn't know I was like playing Bell until I drew my first hand in the tournament so <laughs> it was a little crazy <laughs> oh man that's exciting so uh, first of all I want to ask you for some shout outs you want to give right now oh yeah I'd like to give shout outs to Trifinity Mats Plus One Gaming and Dex Protection uh, they're the best Golden Goats GG GG in five oh baby so yeah, any spice in this deck? Like you went in blind. I guess we yeah. can go in blind too. Yep. <laughs> okay, let's go to the profile. All right, let's kick this off. Sky Striker still alive? Uh, it's the uh, still one of the best decks. Of course, of course. So I uh, played three Ash. Manov played two Valor. <laughs> Manov played two Valor. Yes. And Manov also played two Bell. <laughs> Bell. So uh, I didn't know this was actually in my deck list until round one. I opened it and I was like, oh, so this is how we're doing it today. Uh, this card was actually uh, <laughs> this card is kind of underwhelming. Uh, I kind of want to try a different hand trap, maybe DD Crow, uh, but this one was okay. Like it wasn't impactful enough for me. But did it stop Orcus? That's like close. no. It did not stop them. It didn't. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, of course three Raise Bay. So that was all the monsters. Cool. And then for the spells, I still play Triple Roll, Triple Anchor, Triple Engage. I did two Terra, and then if you've ever seen my deck profiles, you know I don't play two area zero, but uh, I played two today. <laughs> um, and yeah, where's your third one? Uh, it's Manov's deck box somewhere, I don't know. But <laughs> yeah, this was actually uh, a lot better. Uh, I've actually never had the confidence to actually play less than three. And uh, today, uh, two is actually really good because they don't clog. So I think I might uh, go to two from now on. Um, oh, convinced air believer. Yeah, it took eight rounds of Swiss, but it, it confirmed <laughs> that two area zero is all you need. All right. And then uh, for my other Sky Striker, I actually did two Shark Cannon today. Uh, this I think, is an up from previously. Yeah, um, Shark Cannon's I think really good this format because it hits uh, Orcus. So you just wait for them to banish Skeleton and then you just Shark Cannon the Dingrisu. Or you can just Shark Cannon um, the Jaguar and the Falcon and then they can't really grind with you as much. Yep. So uh, this had a lot of utility. like. Uh, and I really like this utility a lot more now, and that's why I think I might play DD Crow over Bell. Cool. Um, if you've also seen any of my lists, I normally don't play Twin Twister in the main. But um, we cut Jamming Waves from the uh, main, and uh, it, it was I think it was a really good choice because I played uh, some Draco decks, and Twin Twister was the blowout. Uh, it's also really good against Orcus because you can also hit the, the Babel. Uh, and a fog blade, and then you only gotta play through one. So, uh, and it forces out all the Orcus cards. So, Twin Twister has a lot of utility, and it loads my, my graveyard. Uh, I also did Hornet Drone, Afterburner, and sh one Shark, or er, Eagle Booster. So I, uh, Manav, why do we only do one Eagle Booster? Oh, then there's no more mirrors. Yeah, there's no more. Yeah, there's not as, um, there's not as many mirrors. And so, um, and since there's not as many mirrors, you don't need as many ego boosters. Cool. Uh, you only need to resolve one against combo decks or two, and then you should be able to outgrind them because they can't last as long as you do. You just want to survive. Yeah, you just want to live. Yeah. All right. Uh, I also did Hercules base. This card is standard now because you need to put back Kagari, but it's still really good against Salad. I would just make this and it forces out Bay Links or they just take it and I draw a card. And that happened a few times today. Even if they don't take it, they'll still get that draw. Oh yeah. Double swing. It's nice. Uh, I also went back to the Foolish Goods package. Uh, you have to load up your graveyard as fast as possible because your deck's a lot slower now. And so um, by you, you can't just like use Kagari anymore, like turn one, unless you're like getting a lot of pluses because then you're just not getting uh, as much value out of your cards. Yep. And Foolish Burial Goods help you get more value since you can easily like put two spells in the grave just mm -hmm. with this. And also in the mirror, it's like a turbo to see who gets the three spells first. Uh, upstart and Rhoda. Um, I did three Call by the Grave. 
I thought that, okay, I didn't think that, but it has really good utility. Like I said, the removal utility against Orcus and uh, Salomon Great is very important. And having uh, like five, five to seven copies, I think is really needed. And it can, uh, I've hit a couple of hand traps with this today and it helped out a lot. Okay. And the last card in my main deck is just one Mystic Mind. Just you, one. I knew that that was going to be something. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, only one. You have terraforming, so even if you like brick really hard, like this card actually saved me a few times against Thunder today, uh, twice. I just put uh, Mystic Mine, and then they couldn't out it, and we just went to the next game. Um, <laughs> yeah, it was insane. Win button, always nice. So I think it was a 40 or 41 card main. I actually have no idea because I didn't check the list. Okay. Yep. Uh, for my extra deck, uh, we did three Shiz, of course, the one Kagari. Three, three Hayate, and one Kaina. Just uh, one? Just one. Um, you don't need more. Uh, honestly, if you manage your resources really well and you just play, you don't really need this. the, the second. Okay. So well, and I'm curious what you replace the other two Kakaris with. Oh yeah, you'll see in a sec. <laughs> and then uh, for, we still did Hita. Hita's still amazing. This card is so good, especially with Ningrisu. Uh, the, these two is just the Damar special, so you gotta play these. <laughs> um, Phoenix, really like Phoenix still. Bomber Dragon is like, oh, this card stole me a game today that I shouldn't have won. I was like super behind a card advantage, but I was able to shark cannon and then use four monsters to make this and just swing and it did 3,000 damage in that game. So, <laughs> yeah, poor guy. Uh, Boral Sword. I'm not, uh, I, I personally do not play this card a lot, so I don't usually make it, but there was multiple times where this card outed monsters that I would normally not be able to out. For example, Metaltron. Oh yeah, the, that uh, guy's huge. The true Draco card. Yeah. And this card really helps you get over that, so. What was the follow up from that, from um, that uh, Metaltron? Uh, what was it? It wasn't, it was, uh, he summoned another monster, but he was low enough for me to just high to him directly. That's too bad. Yeah. <laughs> So that, and then I also, we also did this, the two Salomon Fusion package. Uh, so yeah, so we did this and this because this is good against combo decks, all the dark combo decks now, and then this is just good against Salad. Spoiler alert. Yeah. <laughs> side deck. Oh yeah, we'll get right into the side after that. So, ah, yeah, we're good here. Then for the side deck, I did two Super Poly. How is this card? This was the best card. I was not actually playing this card. This card is so good. Because uh, what I did today actually is I made Hayate, and then I Widow anchored my opponent's Livianir, and then I super polyed his last two monsters and did like 7,200 damage for game since I Hayate him turn one. <laughs> so yeah, this card really sets up to end the game as fast as possible, and it's also just really good against all the other decks because their counter traps do nothing against it. Perfect. So yeah, it was easily one of the best cards. Uh, I think it was my second favorite card of the day. And then uh, I did three Lancey, of course, for... Um, what Thunder, is it called? Orcus. Orcus. Yeah, Thunder and Orcus. And then um, another card I actually did was uh, Set Rotation. Oh! This card's actually really good against uh, Orcus because um, you put the field spell into their zone and then they just can't play anymore. That is spicy. Yeah, so it just ends the game. <laughs> they can't activate it. Oh my god. Yep. And then also with that, I also did two Metaverse and the second Mystic Mind. Uh, more of um, those Thunder yeah. or just monster based combo deck. Yeah, and the, the, this card's actually really good going second still because uh, if you just bait, uh, not even bait, but if you have like Inker in this, like this is gonna resolve and then you Mystic Mind them and then they're just stuck. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's really powerful. And then this card is my third favorite card, Evenly Match. This card was really good today. Um, every used against? True Draco. And let me tell you, <laughs> they deserved it 100%. If you are playing True Draco, you deserve to get hit by this. Um, <laughs> yeah, this card is the truth. <laughs> so, nothing else to say. Uh, it's also really good against Orcus because norm normally <laughs> they do um, they activate Babel so they don't have Crescendo, and then you just evenly their entire board and they'll lose like Babel, Rusty, the Dingri. They lose all of it. Two fog blades. Yeah, two Fog Blades. Like they can't grind with you at all. So their grind game is just completely lost. But in my last round, my opponent decided to outsmart me and just set the counter trap and I couldn't play through it. <laughs> so, shout out to Joseph. Um, <laughs> He's been right there. And my favorite card of the day was Typhoon. Now this oh, card Hello. was the nuts. How does it work? Dude, so all you do is you draw it and then you just wait for them to put two cards and you're just like, boom. 
Um, this card was really good against True Draco, actually. Um, I actually hit a couple diagrams, a Heritage for three. I hit oh. um, Disciples. Oh. Because what I did is that I uh, banished all their monsters with the shark cannons and the called by the graves, and so they need they needed to put back monsters. But if I keep hitting them, they just don't have anything to summon. The game's over. Uh, Typhoon was also in case I played against Pendulum. Pendulum's amazing. Yeah, and because um, this is just hard hit on the not once per turn yeah, and it's not once per turn. So this card was just really powerful in a lot of uh, rogue matchups or back row decks or um, in the mirror too. Yeah, in the mirror. You can hit multi roll. So, uh, this card's just oh. really, really, really good. I just, I just can't, like, this is like, you, no one can see this coming at yeah. all. Everyone no one did. To this. Yeah. I was gonna play that deck. Yeah, this, <laughs> the deck was really good. Who would have thought? That's gonna see play. <laughs> All right, Tristan, let's give some shout outs again. Uh, he, uh, first shout out, most importantly, is to Manav. Uh, this was his deck, the card for card. Uh, yeah, I did, actually didn't just want to write my list, and he was just like, Here you go. I had to print it out. Yeah. This or Thunder Dragon? And it was the truth. <laughs> it was one of the best. Uh, shout out to uh, Gio Paco Alex, Kyle, Edwin, Kevin, uh, and other Kevin. Kevin Gang. Uh, <laughs> shout out. Shout out to um, Golden Goats, of course. Shout outs to uh, the people from my locals, Bauer, Joseph, Aunt Massey. Um, Living the dream. Shout outs to D-Boys. And uh, shout out to uh, the, our judges. They did an amazing job today. Uh, they don't get enough credit, but they, did, they do a lot for us uh, and they miss out on opportunities to play just so we can have more regionals. Oh yeah, I completely understand yeah. that. And so I really appreciate that uh, they do that for us every Seattle um, and they're always super respectful and they're really good. So, and shout out to Genesis and shout out to D-Boys and my boy Danny. <laughs> you guys are the fake D-Boys. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. All right, thank you Tristan. If you guys enjoyed that video, smash that thumbs up button. Don't forget to hit the, the subscribe notification bell and everything. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please drop us a like so we know we are doing a good job. And you can also subscribe to MSD.TV for more fantastic videos by clicking on the button on the left. Don't forget to check out our partners at Imperium Duelist. They make really high quality mats, including some of my own limited edition release stuff. And if you want to check out one of our past videos, click here on the right. As always, don't forget to hold on to your MST.TV, and I'll see you next time.